In this video, we're going to talk about web hosting. Without web hosting, we really cannot have our websites live on the internet. There are some free solutions for having web hosting, like having your website hosted by a particular brand or uh, some type of online blogging platform. I strongly suggest that if you are building a website business or an online marketing business that you do not do that. You want to have full control over your own hosting and you want to make sure that you use a company that is very reputable, somebody that can help you when anything happens or any troubleshooting needs to take place. I have a couple that I'm going to recommend, but um, you know, you feel free to use any company that you like. But in this video, I'm just going to cover some basics and we're going to get set up with, an, with a hosting account. So the first thing we want to do is actually just define what web hosting is. All right, now web hosting is, um, it's a platform that allows individuals and organizations to make their websites accessible to others via the internet. So once you have a web hosting account, then you are able to log into that server and we call them web servers. We log into that server and then you can place files on that server. Now, if you placing files that contain elements of a website, then you are going to be able to have that website live and on the internet. We're going to talk about all that a little bit later, but I just wanted to define it just so you know exactly what it is. In previous videos, we talked about FTP, we talked about domains. Well, we're trying to go step by step here as far as what we need to complete this full circle of building an online business. So a domain name is definitely needed. You're going to need a file transfer protocol to send files. So where are you sending those files? To a web hosting account. And that's where we're at right now. Now there's a variety of different types of hosting. There's shared, there's dedicated, there's cloud hosting, there's reseller hosting. Now I'm not going to get into a lot of detail as far as what these are and what they do. But just know that when you share a hosting account, you are sharing it with a number of other users. So there is a, there's always a discussion as to what is better, a shared account, a dedicated account. Most seasoned online marketers like to use a dedicated account so that they don't have anybody else using that particular hosting account and uploading files and causing any danger of that server crashing and coming down. So the common most used for experienced online marketers and business owners is a dedicated server. Now, when you're first starting out, a shared server is okay because we want to have something that's very cost effective. We want to have something that we can get started with right away. Once your website and your business starts making you money, then you can transfer it over easily to a dedicated server. There's also a cloud server, and a cloud server is just a, an, another type of server that allows faster you know, upload speeds, and there's a lot of technical issues to a cloud server. Of course, depending on price is, you know, is gonna be your determining factor as to whether or not you wanna start with a cloud server. Um, but like I said, I would just start with the shared server. Now. Lastly, a reseller account. You can have a reseller cloud account, a reseller. You, any one of these can be a reseller account. But I wanted to talk about it briefly because I'm going to show you my reseller account in just a second. But I wanted you to know its purpose. Now, a reseller account means that I can offer hosting to people under my account. So I do offline marketing. In some cases, when I, when I offer sir you know if i if i build a website and i include hosting with the website for one year that is on my reseller account now the business owner's reseller account gets their own c panel which is a control panel and they have full functional control over their own account but i'm basically you know loaning them space off of my account and i can charge them for that space rather than my clients going to a hosting provider and having to buy hosting, I offer it through my reseller account. So I hope that made sense. 
It's basically just me offering hosting and me being the main seller of the account, although I don't own the actual server that I'm reselling. It's, it can be very profitable as well if you have clients paying you 20 to $30 a month in hosting fees and you're just simply setting them up on a reseller account. Okay, so those are the types of hosting. Let's talk about where to buy hosting. Now, there's a couple places that you can use. You can use Liquid Web, which is one that I highly recommend, or you can use an account with HostGator. So let's go ahead and go over to my web browser and we'll compare the two. Now, if you're really into saving money from the very beginning, you're going to want to consider getting a, an account from HostGator. Um, be careful with the word unlimited here. That unlimited is not necessarily true. Okay, you are always going to be limited to the disk space and the bandwidth because especially if you're on a shared account, you cannot just upload everything you want. So just be careful with that word. I wanted to point that out. So let's take a look at the web hosting plans that are offered by HostGator. Now you can look at the web hosting plans and see here that if you just want to host a single domain, you can get a plan for as low as $5.56 a month. The longer you get into a contract, the cheaper per month it is. Okay. If you want to go monthly, $7.16. So again, if money is an issue currently, just get a basic plan. I personally like an unlimited don domain plan. That way, in case I don't have initially, I don't want to just be limited to that one domain. If I buy a few and I start getting the hang of this, this is exactly where I want to be. And you can get, you know, $7.96 a month, you can have unlimited domains. And then you can go up as far as a business plan. And it just depends on some of the technicalities here as far as having a private SSL, which is a security uh, certificate on your hosting account. It just makes things a little bit more secure. And also a toll free number here would be something that your business may need or can have to come in handy. So it just really depends on you. A reseller account is also a good option because uh, you can start reselling your disk space on your hosting account to your clients. So for $60 a month here, okay, if I get two clients that are paying me $20 a month in hosting, then that's going to significantly lower my hosting fees, right? I'm just passing the, the cost of my hosting down to my clients. Okay, so you're basically able to start your own web hosting company if you have a reseller account. So it just really depends on what you want to do. The copper plan here is only $27.96 a month, and that offers you a reseller account. So very good. Um, you want to check the bandwidth, and you always want to be in contact with support and let them know if you start getting many clients using your reseller account, you may have to upgrade your hosting. So you're going to want to keep in touch with support so that they can help you out. And they will. They're, for the most part, they're pretty good. HostGator would be my number one option if I'm just starting out. Now, once you start getting seasoned and you really want to upgrade your hosting, then you can start moving on to some more expensive platforms like the cloud, the VPS hosting, or some dedicated servers. Now you can see that the cost rises significantly, but if you are in a, at the point to where your business is going great, your website is making you money, you're gonna make you're gonna want to make sure you have a hosting account that is really solid. Okay, so that is when you make the move over to Liquid Web. So again, the cost is going to be a lot higher, but the service quality and the hosting quality is going to be really, really solid. So that's what you want to do when you set up your hosting. Now, I'm going to actually go into my hosting account, my reseller account, and I'll show you how to set up an actual hosting plan 
through a reseller account. So let me head over to my hosting account. And this is my hosting account with Liquid Web. So you can see that I have a bunch of different options here. I hardly use any of them. I just basically want to create a new account. And I'm creating that new account to use with my new domain name that I purchased, which was online marketing video tutorials. Remember, actually, I'm sorry, it's online marketing tutorial videos. And I'm actually kind of glad I just kind of goofed that up because you're going to want to be real careful when you purchase your domain and that you match it up exactly when you set up your hosting account. Okay. If you tell HostGator that you have a domain name and it is incorrect, it's never going to work for you and it's going to cause a lot of problems. So let me go ahead and put in my domain name here online marketing tutorial videos.com now by default it's going to create a username for me and what i will do is create a password for my hosting account and you can use the the password generator here uh, you can really use any password you like you should be putting a really good password in there so that it's very secure okay so I have all that top area filled out now what I need to do is choose a package now with my reseller account I have one package that I've created now you can set up as many packages there's different types that you want just like HostGator has the different packages here you can set up these different packages yourself okay so I have one package that I set up uh, my C panel which is my control panel I leave everything else the default I can choose to make this account a reseller if I wanted to but I'm not okay uh, we're gonna talk about name servers in just a bit but I'm gonna go ahead and just copy the name servers okay as a reminder and I'll talk about that in just a bit but I wanted to note to you that this is very important this name server area okay so just keep that in mind now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the create button and now my hosting account is starting to be created just like that in my reseller hosting account I have liquid web creating my new hosting account for me all right so my account has been created all right uh, these details here are very important now I may have block I'm gonna probably have to block these off for you because it does include my password but I will show you as best as I can uh, exactly all the information because remember setting up our FTP is really important so I need the info off of this area right here to set up my file transfer protocol pro, uh, software all right so I'll, I'll refer to this information if you're getting blocked out of my password it's because um, it's just something I had to do right so that's pretty much it my server all of this other information I really don't even pay attention to of course we can get into techie detail about what everything is but all I know is that my server is now set up and it's ready to go all right so thanks for watching this video in the next video we're gonna get into name servers and then we'll install our FTP programs set it up and process files and get that all squared away so thanks for watching this video